to Wolverine Women. I'm Madison Bird, and tonight I am joined by two-time All-American Carly Scott, senior on the Michigan women's volleyball team. Carly, thanks for joining us tonight. Thanks for having me. You just wrapped an incredible four-year career here at Michigan. Did it go by, like, super quick? Yes, for yeah. sure. I remember, like, every year I kept thinking, like, oh, my gosh, another year is gone. Yeah. But freshman year was pretty long. But yeah. besides that, I feel like it's gone by too fast. Yeah. So I'm going to take you back to before you even stepped foot on campus. You were pretty heavily recruited out of high school, um, but you committed to Michigan your sophomore year, right? Yeah. Um, and what was it? Uh, did you take an official here at Michigan? Yeah, I took an official like after I was committed. Oh, well, okay. Not officially committed, but okay. I took an official senior year. Okay. So what was it um, about Michigan that made you realize that you wanted to spend the next four years of your volleyball career here and, and so early on, I mean, as a 16-year-old? Yeah. Looking back, I think it was definitely a feeling I got when I took my unofficial here. So sophomore year I came and visited. But yeah. besides that, it's close enough to home, but not too close. Yeah. And then just like the balance of academics and athletics here, like at such a high level is really what drew me to Michigan. Yeah. Um, you were a part of some pretty successful teams here at Michigan. Um, what do you think, well, I mean, I'm sure you have a lot of great memories with all the girls and um, the coaches, but what do you think was your favorite memory of playing volleyball here at Michigan? Favorite memory? I don't know if I could pick one. Uh, sophomore year when we we got to host the first round of the NCAAs and we beat Oregon at Chrysler to go to the Sweet 16. That was up there. And then freshman year, we were down 0-2 to Michigan State at home. And we ended up coming back and winning that in five. So that, and then we went to the Sweet 16 this year too. And that was really special, but yeah. those are the three that kind of came to my mind. Yeah. I don't know if I could pick one. But. Yeah, yeah. And you mentioned um, Michigan State um, winning over them and I know when you come here uh, as a student athlete for Michigan, you kind of have those two big rivalry games against Ohio State and Michigan State. What is what is kind of the volleyball culture around um, those games specifically when you go up against those two um, rivals and pretty successful teams in the Big Ten? Yeah, I think, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of weird about rivals. I'm not like as headstrong as other people, I feel like. It's obviously so fun to beat Michigan State and Ohio State just because here we get big crowds for those games and there we get big big crowds for those games but there's so many like competitive teams in the big 10 that every night really is like a great win yeah yeah um but beating them and i don't know they're both great teams in the big 10 yeah. so it's fun obviously every time we play them yeah um and you were named um all-american your junior and senior year uh, what were, were those goals that you set out to accomplish when you came to Michigan or was it kind of just you, you had building blocks along the way and then you kind of realized you know I could I could you know be one of the best players in the country yeah I think it definitely was a goal that I wrote down in high school yeah. um, but then when I came here it was kind of just playing I don't really know how to explain that but yeah. I honestly didn't even know I was gonna be all-american last year I got a call from my coach. At, he asked me to call him at 10 p.m. one night, and I was like, oh. Oh, what did I do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, like, that's how I found out. So it's really cool, but I think overall it's a team sport, and yeah. there's they really you don't get personal accolades unless your team does well. So right. I think it really said more about how our team performed each year. Yeah. But it's obviously a special feeling to have that. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Um, and so it's my understanding that you're not totally done with volleyball. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about your plans once you graduate in April? Yeah, so in the fall, I'm gonna go to Pepperdine and get my master's in global business and then play beach volleyball for one season because that's all the eligibility I have left. Okay, so was beach volleyball something that um, you did in high school um, or is this, is it gonna be like a whole new feat that you're gonna be taking on? Yeah, it's new. It I is? haven't, okay. yeah, so. Yeah. Hopefully start training this summer and yeah. just get ready, but it's obviously similar, but it's it's at the same time, it's a totally different sport. So oh, it'll sure. be fun for me to have a new challenge yeah. after indoor volleyball for so many years. Yeah. And do you think um, 
that there's there's one or maybe many things, but what are probably like the most important things that you feel like you'll take um, from Michigan and Coach Rosen um, and take it with you to Pepperdine and um, taking on a new uh, volleyball scene? Yeah, I think college athletics in general, not just volleyball, but mm -hmm. you really like develop qualities because of all the trials you have to go through. So I think that's really the biggest thing is just knowing that if you can get through um, college athletics, you can really like, push through a lot of things. So that's one of the main things. And then just enjoying what I'm doing. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like you get caught up with all the pressure, but at the end of the day, it's just a sport and that's right. the most important thing to remember, so. Yeah, well, I'm sure it will be so nice to have a school year with uh, sunshine and warmth yes. all year round. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I heard it snowed there the other day, though, so <laughs> I'm a little worried about that. It's going to follow we'll you, see. maybe. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. well, uh, thank you so much for coming in tonight, and we wish you the best of luck. Thank you.